What's up guys, welcome. Do you remember a few years ago I came to this place where we are today called Bestwood Park, Bestwood Country Park. But today I'm here on a special night adventure with the lads. So we're here with Knott's Explorer and Joe Cass, a good friend of ours who was also in Mansfield with us that time when we went to the mills. So, where are we today? Here we are with Midlands Explorer. Come and have a look. What the fuck? What the fuck? Shining. <laughs> <laughs> Now Gwyn. Here we go. Here it all starts. One minute. Now Gwyn. Now Gwyn. We believe there's the haunted... This is a haunted room, apparently. Is there anyone sat on that bed? Duh, duh. What was that? Did you hear that noise, Emily? I don't know that. No. That's um, the thingy. That's, um... Any of these alive? Yeah. So guys, we're here today, staying at the Bestwood Lodge. Now Gwyn. At Glen, uh, sorry, at Nell Glynn. Nell Glynn's room. Nah. Well, apparently, in here. My bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a shitty one there. That's for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's before we sleep. Yeah, we're not sleeping, 3 a.m. challenge. So, as I say, we're here today at the Bestwood Lodge Hotel and we plan. plan to do a 3 a.m. challenge and we're gonna do some things here tonight quite a few different things but yeah this room <coughs> bathroom and a bath I'm having a bath <laughs> that door is quite old, isn't it? There, that door, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice door, yeah. If you can see that room up there on the left-hand side, which has the light on, that's our room here at the Bestwood Lodge Hotel. A place that's supposed to be extremely haunted by a very pretty lady that used to live here um, called Eleanor Gwynne. <coughs> she was one of the mistresses of King Charles III and this house was given to her. We're going to have a look a bit more in a minute. Beautiful stars. You can't even see them on here. Right, guys. Remember, as I was telling you, this lodge, which is now a hotel, is well known for its hauntedness. Now, if you know your history, King Charles III, um, amongst a lot of kings back in them days, stayed at this lodge because this lodge yeah. was a royal lodge. It was also a hunting lodge for many years. And we're right now inside what looks like a room. It's actually the staircase going up. We've got our man Joe up there. And this staircase is well known for 
the lady, the mistress of King Charles, King Edward, who was called Eleanor Gwyn. Gin Gwyn. Sorry if I'm not saying it correctly. But these are the famous steps where she apparently died by falling down them. So we're here today, as I told you, with, Be um, with Knott's Explorer as well. And we're going to look at a few more rooms. Come along. Wait. Right guys, we're coming up until here, which is called the balcony. Now, right here where I'm standing, apparently someone hung themselves not that long ago. And uh, yeah, so up here we are in the top floor. And you get the eerie feeling as soon as you're walking around. Really eerie. That balcony there, across there, is where a lady hung herself and fell down there and the body was found down here. Um, so amongst, amongst other things, um, as you can see, the architecture is all old with its old wooden style, like a lot of the old hotels did have. Do remember this was a royal place for kings in the past. And it's, it's a very splendid building, there's no doubt about it. I'm just showing you around this very, very old hotel. It's very old. It looks like... This building was built in 1364, guys. That's how old this place is. That's how much history around this place. Right, as I was saying, we are here in this corridor. I, I don't mean to sound strange to you, but this is an eerie place, full stop, because of its antiquity. It's really old, and it's, it's strange. This is actually a little corridor here, some kind of room here, in between other rooms. And down here we have two more ensuite rooms. Remember, this place was built in 1364, I believe, and... It was directed to be built by someone who lived in Linby, which is a close little village to here. And as I say, the king stayed here a lot. And this is well known in the whole of UK for being a haunted house. And tonight, we're going to do just that. Investigate them ghosts here at Bestford Lodge. It's like an old, like an old light. What's that there? Is that an old light? Queen Mary room. They were all named after kings and queens, obviously, because this was. This is a private room. So we're going up one of many corridors in this quite scary little place. We're up here in a quite weird part of the hotel. It's up and down, up and down everywhere. Stairs here, stairs there. It's quite scary. No camera here. Stairs. No, no. Stairs. What's up there? Sound like war. Very spooky, but these are boiler rooms. That's about common here, you know.
We found a very strange room. Come, come, come. Look, this is the old church. It does actually look like a church. This is the old church here. I want to know what they're hiding here, because I've got the feeling this is the cellar. spooky by the day because obviously these are parts of the hotel that they don't want us to see what what they don't want you to see. Hey and this is why we are here. I'm I'm wondering if look at these cobwebs everywhere. I've got a feeling yeah this is a cellar. We've been told not to go down here but I'm expecting you to defend me now if someone comes out. Right, guys, I've got something to tell you. Down here, okay, is where apparently is the cellar where a lot of people died. There's some weird hooks, and I'm not too sure what they are. Anyone know? Can you see these hooks? They're on all the staircases. Look, no, one there, one there, that one's broken. Can you see that? Is that bizarre? Let us know if you know what it is. Anyway, we carry on here in one of the towers from Bestwood Lodge. And I found the door open, so I went to investigate. I don't think there's anything wrong with that because we're not doing anything wrong. But this is definitely one of the towers. Yeah, and there's a door there at the end, but it's blocked off with a board, making me wonder if that's why it's not allowed to go in. Something is hiding in there. They've got something down there in this cellar that they don't want anyone to know about. I don't know. Oh, got more stuff going on here. Oh, oh, oh. This place is massive. There's people here. I 
think these are just the normal rooms. Yeah. So now there's more up here. This place is weird. Don't forget, yeah? This used to be a hunting lodge. And it used to be a place for royalty, innit? Yeah. Hey. Linen. This is crazy. <laughs> this is by far yeah. the biggest hotel I've ever been in in my life. But let's remember this used to be a royal place. This was all owned by one guy who bought it for his mistress, who was Eleanor Gwynn. Beds. Beds. No. This looks again like one of these old towers where they could have been. Look, where there's like um We're hearing noises. No. Just another dead end. What's that? Right guys, we're back up here. We've been told that room number 30 is very haunted. So we're gonna have a look. We've just been speaking to a guy who used to come to this Bestwood Lodge and he used it as his local pub. And I say he used to because from tomorrow, all pubs, restaurants, hotels and everything else will be closed in the UK because of the COVID-19. So, essentially, we are here tonight on one of the last nights of when people are allowed to come to hotels. And it's really interesting because we didn't really plan any of this. It just happened to be that the UK government told us today that that's it. No more hotels, no more restaurants, no more bars for a while. So it's kind of ironic that we're here today in a very haunted place. Oh, Yo, that door's open. Why are some of them open? I've noticed doors open. Why is the door open then? Is that a washing machine? That's a fucking washing machine. I think it's a boi boiler room. There's so many things hidden in this hotel. For room 30. Here we are with Knox Explorer. Myself, Midlands Explorer. We're looking for room 30. It's supposed to be one of the most haunted rooms. And it's strange because we were, her we were here earlier and we heard a door slam upstairs. Was that room 30? Was that, that just gave me a weird feeling. Was that room 30? That was up here. It was up there. 
That's a weird door from earlier. Yeah, it's a weird door. So we heard earlier, guys, we heard the door slam, if you remember. Now, we've just found out afterwards that room 30 is one of the most haunted. And obviously, back in the day, the one where we're staying was the most haunted. But recently, it's been noted... What was that? Yeah. No. I feel enough spooked out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just heard some weird noises. This hotel is well known for strange noises. But then it's also an old hotel. So therefore, yes, we could hear creaks. Where's the room 30? And that's where the little boy said he heard, he saw someone. Here? Yeah, so he saw a ghost around here. Oh yeah, Right, there's, there's a little boy who came to the hotel today. A four-year-old boy was here with his family and he said that when he was walking through here earlier, he said, Daddy, a ghost. Now, why would a four-year-old even say something like that? Do you know what I mean? It's a bit strange. And it was on this corridor. Wait, there's one in it. Yeah, yeah. I right. Like you right. He thinks I'm making it up. I don't like ghosts. Let's be honest with you. I don't, I'm not interested in them. I don't believe in them. However, this place is by far the scariest I've been because of strange things happening on my camera. So I keep looking out because it looks like things are happening when I... Look, it's doing it again. Did you see that? Blurred. Yeah, it blurred, and then not only did it blurred, I felt like someone went straight through me. Yeah. You know, like a chill feeling. Yeah. What's that? Cupboard. No, look up here. Look closer. Oh, that's some dirt, bro. Wait, what is that? It's weird. Why would, just, why would it just be there? Why would it be there like that? Is it blood? Yeah. Light, dark, and a blacky. I think. Looks a bit strange if you ask me. It's like a splatter. Yeah, like a slime or something. Yeah. Anyway, let's, let's see what happened again. When I went through here, it went blurred. Oh, there we go again. Oh my god. Right, I'm telling you now, yeah, you might be thinking I'm making it up. I'm being honest with you, yeah. I've got right now, standing outside room 31. I've got a weird sensation inside me, like um, like I've walked over a dead grave, let's say, that kind of feeling. Can I open that door? Which one? This one? Oh, yeah. Where's the one in it? Different to the rest of the house. Alright. Oh, wait, is that the tower? Not as explorers just noticed something. The biggest tower? Why is that carpet different up there? Yeah, the carpet turns green. What the fuck? What the fuck? Liam! Yo! There's something here... There's something here covering the door. What? Well, what? What? Wait. No, that's the... Um, no, that's the thingy. No, bro. Wait. What's covering the door? Watch. <gasps> Watch. Why is that blue? Exactly. You get a separate key. Right, guys, we've just been locked out of our room when I... When I was... When I was looking at... Some, 
Easy, Megan. Bro, look here, look here. Tell me this is normal, right? Why is it going like that? Like there's some clouds coming through it. That's not normal. That's, no. that's gay. I reckon someone's stuck there right now and watching us. Look, you know when your camera blurs like this? Zoom in, zoom in. When your camera blurs, that's energy, that's static energy, right? That is like a... Bro, that is not normal. No. Your camera should be focused by now, look. Your camera should focus. No, 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 no. It's not focusing properly. And if you look like this, you can see like... A, Zoom out. It, it looks like... Um, it looks like um, yeah. smoke coming up. Doesn't it? Yo. Yo. Did you just see what I just Did you see? that? Yeah. What the fuck is going on there? Right towards here? us. Oh, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone, like, um, it's gone, it's gone. It's like a, um, it looks like a cloud. Yeah. It's gone. What? Yeah, I yeah, got me. It's gone, no, 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 no. Look how perfect that's focusing. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Uh oh. It just had trouble there. Yeah, it's coming again. Let me see what happens if I stand there. Is there, there someone coming? stood in that doorway? Eleanor Gwynn, we're not here for any trouble. We are urban explorers. Right. What's going on with Nami, y'all? Your video's about to stop recording. Right, listen guys, I've just, this mantel, sorry mantelpiece, this fireplace here in one of the main rooms at the lodge. Notice some animals on either side. We're not too sure what this animal is exactly. Originally I thought they were stags, but it's not. I'm not quite sure what this animal is. Now on this side, on this side I'm pretty sure it's a dog. And I'm going to show you this because this is... Like Knott's Explorer, just notice now, this is marble or brick, but it's been attached to the wood part, the old wood part here, as an extra feature to this lovely fireplace. But yeah, I've been looking at these little figures here. This one is a dog, and that side, Knott's Explorer reckons it might be a goat. Look at this lovely chest of draw here, chest of goat, and probably just for rubbish now. It's really nice. <coughs> Depicts um, people having a a drink in a inn somewhere. Um, yeah, I'll show you a few more things. So here's this animal. I'm not quite sure what it is. Could be a dog as well. I don't know. It's got horns. It's got horns. Oh yeah, it's got horns. It's definitely not a dog. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Things are turning on by themselves. It's quite beautiful, really. It, is, it does remind me a little bit, actually, of the interior to Woolerton Hall. This is also Victorian, and parts of it are also Tudor. But the original building was much older. Yeah, and it was up here where I saw that window that day. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Right, guys. We are coming to the end of our video here tonight at Bestwood Lodge. Here at Bestwood Country Park. I want to say thank you to everybody for viewing our video tonight. We've had quite a few different experiences. We're nearly five o'clock in the morning and we're soon leaving. And I want to thank everybody for this amazing experience here tonight with us here at Bestwood Lodge on the eve of the COVID-19 lockdown. Literally, the day before the lockdown, we have come here.
So, as I was saying, guys, thank you for watching this video today here at Bestwood Lodge Park. I am leaving you with news that we're all going to be on lockdown now. So, I say goodbye. I hope everyone keeps safe and look after yourselves in the next few months. And we will see each other very soon. God bless. Good night. Thank you.